It's Friday night and I'm back here where I'm attempting to develop a grape orchard. And before I get started putting in that replacement vine there, I figured that I would stop and record a couple of things just that I've mentioned or should mention to others. The first is I found a real good use for the leftover weed whacker string that's left over when you're, when you're done with the string and you got to reload it. Well, they wrap up real nicely and can help train your vines to a support structure. So that's one thing that I wanted to pass on. The next items I want to point out is related to the grape vine that was located next to this fence post and needs replaced. The first thing I want to point out is this is what's called Japanese barberry. And it may not be immediately obvious, but let me see if I can point out the wicked spines that these things have. And this one's just small, but these spines here on the larger ones can be an inch long or so and they'll go right through they're just like needles and they'll go right through there's there's there it is there it'll go right through a rubber I mean a leather glove then if we stack back a bit and look over here we find one of the more popular plants with people, which is a poison ivy. Now there's one more in the near vicinity that is also something to be aware of and watch out for, which is, this is the multiflora rose here. And again, this one's another small one but these thorns on these things will rip your flesh right open. Sort of like what happened... Let's see, where am I looking? There it is. So you just have to walk past those things and they rip your flesh open. So I'm going to proceed to clear this spot and put in a new grapevine, but those are the things that I wanted to point out that you got to watch out for whenever you're trying to garden in the wild. Take care.